Hey guys! Alright guys, we're here today to do a Patreon request from this patron right here. As a check out, Within the Ruins, Gods Amongst Men, which I think it's a song that they dedicated to the two of us. Uh, I can disagree. I think I'm gonna go with it. Yeah. I mean, they're not here to tell me otherwise, so fuck it. I'm going with it. Gods Amongst Men. All right, you ready for this? By the way, you've never, have you heard of this band before? Uh, Within the Ruins? No. All right, I've heard of them because I did an album review for their last album that came out November of this year. Last November. They, they released their, their latest album. They, they had, in that album, they, had, uh, they have a new lead singer, so uh, it'll be a little bit different for me. But for you, I mean, it doesn't matter. They, they could have Jack Sparrow singing on this song. You wouldn't know any different. You've yeah. never heard of them before. So I don't want to tell you anything. I don't know. Because sometimes we do this, and then I end up kind of knowing the band because I hear you listening no, to them. No, this was one of the last albums that I reviewed for the year, oh. and uh, you, you got no glimpse of it whatsoever. So this is going to be new, and I'm not going to tell you anything. So you're going to go in with a clear mind and first-time experience, all okay. right? I mean, it's going to be first-time experience for me checking this one out, but at least I know what to expect. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's do it.
Oh god, that guitar playing. All right, since you've never heard these guys before, I'm gonna let you go first. What do you think? Oh, and I gotta say, the lead singer looks like he just came back from work. Uh, and what is he working at? I have no idea. I mean, he's wearing cargo sh like black shorts and a uh, and a uh, a very uh, f a formal uh, shirt. You look like you go to work at EB Games. Yeah, like a manager at EB Games. Yeah, all right. He came from his shift at EB Games. Yeah. And then they were barbecuing because there was a fire there and he's with his foot on a log. Uh, it's Yule. Yeah. So it's, it, it fits the season. That's what you have to say, by the no, way, no, after... No, no. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. I just wanted to... Because I, I had that. That was like the first thing I thought of when I saw him. My goodness. I'm like, he looks like he came back from an assistant manager job somewhere. Uh, they have a different lead... Like I mentioned before, we act like they have a different lead singer now. So it looks... He's, it looks and he sounds different. Yeah. But. Um, when it started off, I was kind of confused because I'm like, ooh, I don't know how I'm going to feel about, you know, the way it kind of... It was starting out with the, the whole... Uh, the cyber kind of um, very technical, technical proggy, technical. No, prog. I'm talking about like the actual sound, like the cyber type of sound uh, that it was giving off with the vocals. I'm like, okay, I don't know how I'm gonna feel. Oh, and I thought you were talking about the guitars. Uh, also, the guitars, because I, I was. I, I love the guitar sound. I wasn't. On this track. I wasn't expecting it. All right. Um, I came in. This was kind of like open mind, but then when that kind of happened, I was like put off a bit, and then I slowly. Throughout the song, I was slowly coming back over, and I, I was really enjoying myself. Um, as you progress. As I progressed, yeah. So I think if I listen to it again, I'll enjoy myself even more. The, the new album sounds different, I'll tell you that much. I mean, and not just because they changed the lead singer. Obviously, when you change the lead singer, uh, things change. change. Yeah. Uh, not just because of that. Sound-wise, the band sounds different now. I mean, there's still a lot of this in the band. But there's also a lot of other stuff. They're a little bit more diverse, I would say. Um, but uh, the guitar playing on this song, oh, I don't yeah. know how you feel about it, but I love the guitar play. I could, listen the... To, I could listen to this song just instrumental. Yeah. It was very, very, very uh, technical uh, guitar playing. Really, really good. And, and I, I like the change between the first solo and the second solo. The first solo almost felt classical. And, and by classical, I mean like classical music. It, it didn't feel like the sound of, of a guitar. It felt almost like something out of like a violin or something. Yeah. The way it was coming across was almost like... Also, sometimes the guitars would change and kind of sound uh, very techno. It had a, almost a little bit of uh, electronic sound to yeah. it. Uh, the first solo, I like it because it gave me one look. And then the second solo was more of your traditional solo. Like, still technical, still with that, with that same, almost same soundscape. But the two solos offer... Two different feelings, at least to me. Yeah. The first one, like I said, it, it had like a classical vibe going into it. The second solo is a little bit more, uh, you know, more what I would expect from a metal band. Let's put it that way. But the guitar playing on this track is phenomenal, in my opinion. I don't know if you enjoy it or not. I, I do. I like the electronic sound that it has uh, because I like the way it's being played. If, if it's not it, being overused. It's it's not even that. If if the guitar playing on this track was straightforward, like, you know, riff, riff, breakdown, breakdown, riff, riff, breakdown, breakdown, that kind I of, that. Uh, with the electronic sound, I'm, I would be kind of like, eh, I don't know, uh, to me that would feel kind of boring, you know, but this one had these, he was using the guitar, the sound of the guitar had that electronic backdrop to it, that's undeniable, but the, the sound was so different, it, it was so unique the way it was coming across, almost like raindrops at times. Just like it had such a uniqueness to it. I, I, I just I love the guitar sound, and I'm not a you know I'm not a big fan of instrumental, but I would love to hear this song just instrumental that, that's because I would I... like to I would like to actually hear never mind the song instrumental. Let me rephrase that. I would like to hear this song just the guitar. Just I just want to hear the guitar track I mean, on this song. That's how I can tell you really like this band because you don't like instrumental, and if you're willing to listen to something that's instrumental. Then, um, yeah, this song, I, I don't want to hear the drums, I don't want to hear the bass. You just want to hear the guitar. I just want to hear the guitar track from beginning to end. I, I, because the, the guitar track on this song is, is just like, for me, uh, if, I, if, I'm, if I was in a room and I'm watching him play this, record this for the album, man, I'm just going to sit back and I'm just going to like just enjoy. Because I, I honestly, I love the sound that he was creating. The, the electronic sound added a little bit flair so to cool it, but I love it. the way it sounded. It's so cool you got to see it. You also that. got to see him playing because they had really good uh, camera angles to really see his hands. Yeah, I, I, but I love the overall... It, for me, this track, 
I, I, I didn't find the track to have a very good fluidity to it. I, I actually felt the song to be a little bit chunky. It had a little bit of a stop and go feel. And most of that stop and go came from the vocals, in my opinion, because the vocals didn't feel fluid. The vocals didn't help the song to move in one direction. I felt like the, 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 the vocals were like the, the, the brakes. Like you're driving, like the guitar player is driving the song and then the vocalist, every time he comes in, he's pumping the brakes. And I felt like the song was kind of like, like chunky from that perspective. So I'm not a huge fan of the song in general, but I could listen to that guitar track all day long on repeat. So it's, it, it's kind of, I, I feel kind of weird about the song. Oh. I'm not a huge fan of the track as it is, like as a song in general. But the guitar really captures Oh my God, I love the guitar. Like I said, I could take everything from the track. Take the drums, take the bass, take the vocals. Give me just the guitar track. I want to I wanna listen to this song, just the guitar. Give me a guitar playthrough Ooh. of this song. That's what I want. Because I love the guitars on this track. Everything else I felt like it was okay, but man, they were, they were getting in the way of the guitar playing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I felt like the guitar was George Costanza when, when he thinks there's a fire at the birthday party. He starts pushing all the children out of the way to get uh, to get out of the building <laughs> instead of rescuing the children. He pushes uh, from Seinfeld. He pushes all the kids out of the way. Get the fuck out of the way. Get the fuck out of the way for him to you know to get out of the building because he thought there was a fire. I feel that way about this song. Get everything out of the way. Like, let me get to the guitar. Oh. I want to hear the guitar player. I want to hear the guitar track all the way through. Once again, not to take anything away, but that's my own. No, cause, it's uh, how I feel about yeah. it, you know. I mean, I enjoyed the song. It's but... a good song, but this song with any other guitar style, sound, approach, to me, it's like, eh, it's kind of meh. It's kind of okay. Yeah. It's not. It's not something to write home about, or to send an email, yeah. or a fax, whatever it is. That no, but I, I enjoyed. Um, I, I I enjoyed the guitar, but I also enjoyed his vocals and uh, and. Uh, Around the around the end of this, like I said, I was it was kind of grasping me, and, yeah, it kind of grew on me. One thing I'll say about the vocals, I like the consistency of the vocals from the beginning all the way to the end. I like the fact that there was no clean vocals, there was no pig squeals, there was like nothing. It was just yeah. like a consistent approach from top to bottom. And I like his voice and I like his delivery. I I, yeah. I like it. I just feel that this song was so overpowered. Like it, the guitars overpowered the song. So in my brain, I'm putting like the filter on and I'm trying to filter everything out because I just want to listen to the guitars. That's just how I feel. I love the guitars on this track. It's just me. All right. All right. Okay. On that note, we'll be back tomorrow with more videos. See you guys. See ya.